What's up guys, thanks for checking out the channel, watching a video. Today we are going to do a product review on trim lights. What in the world is a trim light? Let me do a little backstory before I get into my trim lights. So I, when we grew up, we didn't do Christmas lights. My parents just were never into it. We, as kids, we didn't care. My brother and I, I have a, my twin brother, John, when he moved, him and we both moved out, they just stopped putting up Christmas trees or anything, which I never picked up putting up Christmas trees because it's just more work that you got to do. And face it, I worked in retail for years and Christmas in retail kills your Christmas spirit. I, I just, I didn't even want to look at a Christmas tree. So years later, I met Mike and Mike is big. His family was big in Christmas lights. They put Christmas lights up all the time. So that's one of the concessions I had to make is I guess I'll be putting up Christmas lights now. And our first year we went to Lowe's and we, or Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't remember. We bought these icicles that are programmable that can do shows like, I don't know. If that makes sense, you can make them wave like that and they can bloom, 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 you know, and stuff like that. Well, they worked pretty good. Um, the next year we added to that line with the same product and linked them together. Well, it wouldn't work right. It was just, it was a mess. And then we kept adding to it and we ended up investing a lot of money in this stuff and it just didn't work great. It was like all this money and we just couldn't, we wouldn't be able to control it on the phone and do the shows and make cool stuff, but it, was, it just didn't work. So Mike was, I think he's on TikTok probably or YouTube or one of those. And he saw something about trim lights. And so I did a little research and we have a local rep for trim lights called Tiger Trim Lights. So I go to the tigertrimlight.com. On the back page, there is a little thing where you fill out a questionnaire if you want information. But right after I did that, I got a, a contact from Bob, who is the owner. I think he's the owner. I won't promise, but I'm pretty sure he's the owner. Really professional guy. And we set up an appointment for him to come, come and show me his products. So he comes in his well-marked Tiger Trim Light van and we talk a little bit about the product of what it is. And basically it's permanent Christmas lights that are wired through the house. So you don't have wires hanging off. Another issue with Christmas lights is like the wires running down the walls. I didn't like that. Um, and I didn't like stuff plugged in outside all the time. Um, so these are all ran through the attic, connected to a um, mode, not a modem, a hub in the attic that connects to my internet. That connects to my phone so mike and i went ahead and invested in it because i had looked at soffit lights and the price of those were ridiculous for 15 soffit lights it was a lot of money i was like no it's not going to happen so the trim so bob gave me a price and i was like let's go for it so about three weeks later we had to delay it a week or two because it rained non-stop so we pushed it back a little bit bob and his crew of two guys and his electrician all showed up at the house in their van and put up their tables and boom, boom, boom. Four hours later, we have permanent Christmas holiday lights. These are more than just holiday lights, guys. These, you can program these thousands and thousands of ways. You can turn them to solid white for just security, which looks, which is my favorite actually, because I'm boring. But we have, it's Mardi Gras now. We have our trim lights going for Mardi Gras. Valentine, so we have it programmed, so it'll go Mardi Gras, Valentine's Day, it turns to Valentine colors, then back to Mardi Gras. So it's going to do these cool things, and you can do them for any holiday you want to. Mike sent them the other day because it was raining, and he turned them blue and white. I was like, that's pretty cool. And they can do, like, really cool stuff, and it's all programmable through the phone. But I'm going to show you what the installation looked like. I'm going to show you an example of our setup on these and how easy it is to program them in the um, Trimlight app. Before I do any of this, guys, I want to tell you right up front, Bob and his crew, I didn't get nothing from trim lights to do this. This is our honest opinion of this. Mike and I paid for this stuff with our money. We're not getting sponsored by these guys or anything. It's just a product we found that I wanted to share with you guys so you can know about it and you can have cool stuff like that. I was like impressed. But anyway, before we get into that, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and take a second, hit subscribe. I know you hear that everybody on YouTube does this, but it really is important for us. Hit that subscribe button. Just take a second and hit it. And I'm going to show you my trim lights, my trim lights, our trim lights. I'm going to show you our trim lights, what they are, what they look like, how easy they are to control. And I'm going to put some contact information. I asked Bob if I could do this. So we're going to put some contact information in the uh, information section down below. So you can talk to him if you want him and you're in the Baton Rouge or surrounding areas. Because he said anywhere Baton Rouge and the neighboring parishes, because we're parishes in Louisiana, neighboring parishes, that uh, he can certainly take care of you with your trim lights. But... They have more than just trim lights. They have 
soffit lights, which is what we're gonna do in the back of the house. We didn't do it on this run. We just did this part of the house. Um, they do soffit lights. They call them draw, down lights. Drop lights or down lights? One of those, they're called down lights. They also have globe lights, which are like, you know, you ever seen on a patio, they have light bulbs hanging? That's what globe lights are. And they're all LED. They don't get hot. You can change the color if you want to. You can turn them to 10% to 100%, so you can dim lights. Really cool. So, but anyway, guys, here comes my our, my uh, look at the trim lights, and we'll talk at the end about what we think of it. Is it worth the money? Is it worth the investment to put these guys up? And here comes, guys, Tiger Tiger trim lights or trim lights in general. So here you go. First thing they're going to do is put the hub in the attic, and that's what this box is. The wires run to the hub. These are the actual tracks that the lights fit into before they're installed. From the hub, they're going to run wires to the exterior of the house through the soffit and attach them to tracks that are attached underneath the fascia board. This is a picture of the trim light box with the LED lights not installed. Then they go back and put the LED lights on so they poke out the bottom, but you can barely see them. These are the guys climbing up to the top, tip top of the roof, putting the track and the LED lights in. This is the whole crew working in the front of the house in the layout. These are the guys up there working on the ladders. These are the trim lights that they just installed. You can barely see the guys. They're so neat. So we're outside right now. It's not real dark. So I, cause it, I want you all to see, as you can see me, but these are the trim lights at night. Of course, the darker it gets, it's going to get more bright. The, the lights will get brighter. So this is set up for Mardi Gras. Let me walk out a little. So this is set up for Mardi Gras. And as you can see, they trail the Mardi Gras colors all across the house. So you can set up the calendar to run from Mardi Gras season, but Valentine's falls on the 14th. So on Valentine's Day, the lights are automatically going to turn, turn to red and pink for Valentine's Day. How cool is that? So I'm just put some more pictures on here of what they look like when it gets dark outside and you can actually see them better, but they're amazing. Let me get a up close so you can see them. They are bright little guys. So impressed. And the installation was just incredible. We love them so far. All right, guys, this is what the, if you start up the app, it starts on this default, which is the New Year setting. So if we want to change it, we pull this box up, switch it to Valentine's Day. Boom, there it goes. It switched to Valentine's Day. Change it again to St. Patrick's Day. You're at St. Patrick's Day. It's so easy to control. We're going to change it to Mother's Day. It turns pink. And just it's pull up the box. We're going to change it to Independence Day. Pull up the box, switch it. to Now you can come down here and change where it says static and change the motion for it. This is chase forward. You can change the speed on it. Make it go faster. You can change the, the intensity of the light. Now this is changing it to twinkle. It twinkles. Easy peasy. We're going to change it to fade. This will fade in and out and adjust the speed on it, and it will adjust fast and slow. Pretty cool. Assists. So you can just play with this. There's just countless combinations of what you can do with these things and, and move them around and make the movements change. And uh, there's a whole section of different things that we'll get into in a sec. But now, what happens if you want to build your own? If you want to take your own colors, we're going to change it to static, which means the colors are not going to move. We're going to go up top and grab this green ball and pull it down. We're going to grab the purple ball and pull it down. Now, we got to go in there and tell it, say, we want five of those. You click in five, boom, you got five green lights. Click in five, you got five purple lights added to your lineup. Now, if you want to put a blackout space, because sometimes when you snake stuff, the blackout space looks cool. Grab the black. We're going to say a count of three. Drop that in. Boom. There's your black space. We're going to hit it to run in a chain or to chase. And there it goes. And that black line goes all the way through it. Just like that. The red X, if you want to block out a certain spot over a window, that red X will say static. It will not move. So you can put it above the windows. You can turn them black so won't, if you're going to sleep. The next page is pre-made, let's say, displays. That's a good word. This one is the Rainbow Comet. That's just going to slowly run colors around. 
and you can change the speed on it. You can change the intensity. You can change the number of lights that are involved in the comet. So now we're just kind of jumping through. There's 189, I think, of these total, a ton of them. This one's really cool. This is called stacking. The item LEDs drop down and just stack one on top of the other. It's just really, really a cool feature. Now this also connects to music. So you can do it through auxiliary sources, the player. This is a pre-built piece of music that was on. Now, it also can schedule. So if we go into the scheduling screen, you can do daily schedules, one or two daily schedules. They'll say every night run from eight o'clock till 11 o'clock in pale white. You can change it to an event schedule like a calendar. So you hit the calendar, the month, two, and we've already had this built for Mardi Gras, but on the 14th, it turns to Valentine's. Then it goes back to Mardi Gras. How cool is that? And then to get out of it, you just exit out and say run your timer guys that's our trim lights we love them but i do want to talk to you about the warranty because this is technology what happens if a light goes out what happens if something they just stop working well tiger trim light and i don't know if this is true across the board for all the trim light company they have a lifetime warranty on the product they say if there's a part that goes wrong they're going to come and fix it right there lifetime warranty on parts there is a two-year warranty on the labor. So if the first two years something goes wrong, they're going to come out and fix it for free. After two years, you'll have to pay for the labor to come and fix it. I kind of agree. I mean, that's, that's a good warranty, I think. It's just the parts of my issue is like what happens if a light goes out. Now, there are limited warranties on the things like the, um, the software, etc. So bottom line, what do we think about it? We're impressed. We're impressed with the company. We're impressed with the product. And we're press with just how easy it is to use would we do it again absolutely i think it's a great a great idea it solves a lot of the problems and i don't have to climb a ladder again i don't have to put a wrap up christmas lights another time it's done that alone is worth <laughs> worth a lot so guys that's our that's our video that's our, our video for the week i hope you guys like it i hope you have if you have bought trim lights in the past and you have them on your house Hit me up. Let me know what you think. If you want more information, please contact me. I am going to put the contact information for Bob and Tiger Team Lights down. Tiger Trim Lights. Tiger Team Lights. Tiger Trim Lights down below for you if you're interested. If you're not in my area and you're out of, out of state, you could probably hit Bob would probably know how to get you in touch with somebody in your area that would put up trim lights since he's part of the, that family. Um, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to put it down below. While you're down there, make sure you hit subscribe because we love to have you subscribers. Um, you guys have a great week out there. Be safe and above all, take care of each other. And we'll see you all next week.